fucked up. Your man Dre you done. Um, man, everybody in the sports world is talking about Cam Newton, talking about the Super Bowl, how Cam played on the field, how he acted off the field after at the press at the press conference. Yeah, blase, blase, blase. I picked the Panthers to win, and I know people are gonna say no, no, no. But when the game came on, and I saw Cam Newton before the game, he was clapping his hands. I had a bad feeling about this shit. I can I I swear to God, I had a bad feeling about it. Um, but everybody picked Panthers to win. They didn't think it was gonna be close, and the Broncos defense kicked the shit out of them. And we should have saw this coming. The Panthers they don't have much of an offense. Cam Newton's their offense. They have a bunch of scrubs at running back, at, at re- wide receiver. Um. And Denver didn't do too much better on offense, and they have good they have uh, good receivers and decent running backs, and you know a great offensive line. Um, this is a defensive matchup, man, and Denver's defense is just fucking star studded. They killed them. That's the little Super Bowl review. After the game, and you know the this is what everybody's talking about. The two things about Cam that everyone's talking about. Um, they're talking about the press conference. Okay. I can't criticize this man on anything about him, the way he reacts to losing a fucking Super Bowl. Um, I've never been to the Super Bowl. I will probably will never be in this shit unless I learn how to kick and get picked up uh, as a backup fucking third string kicker on a, on a team. Um, uh... <laughs> I, it's 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 just beyond me how people criticize and even people like Deion Sanders who've been to Super Bowl. I, I'm not sure if Deion Sanders has lost the Super Bowl. He won like every time he went. So I mean, you don't know. And the people who have lost Super Bowls have said, "Hey, Cam, that was wrong," but you don't know how certain people react to things. Um, I mean that that's just kind of like hip, hypocritical to, to criticize him right there on that shit. But I will say one thing. That play, that last play when they had the ball, when the ball, Cam fumbled the ball, and he fucking jumped away from that goddamn ball like it was a fucking hot potato, that's the shit you got to call him out on. Because if Tom Brady did that shit, everybody would be jumping down his fucking throat. All these pro-black motherfuckers. This motherfucker overrated. This motherfucker here. See, I'll see the best quarterback ever. This motherfucker scared to jump on the ball. Cam Newton, man, you you got to jump on the ball. You got to. It's the Super Bowl. I don't want to. And then, this is the worst part about it. If he would have never said anything else about it, he would have just said, man, I should have jumped on it. I don't know what I, you know, the game, heat of the game. Everybody would just blew it off. But this motherfucker Cam Newton said, man, I didn't want to risk injury. The fuck? It's the last game of the season, bitch. Jump on the ball. You fucking dumbass. Jump on the ball. This is why a lot of white people think that black quarterbacks are too stupid to fucking play the position. Um, they, I mean, and I, I agree. And Cam came out with his little rebuttal from the, you know, because he didn't want to answer questions at the first press conference. And he came out with his little rebuttal. And I agree, I agree with him. 80% of his shit. But when he said, I didn't want to risk injury, that shit, I was just like, this motherfucker, man. You risk everything. It's the fucking Super Bowl. You dumbass. Like, uh, Cam, man, god damn it, Cam. You met the, you met, Cam let black people down. Because we was ready to talk shit. They would have won. We would have been talking so much shit. But this is the other thing about black people. Cam and black people in general and the whole Panthers team. Y'all was doing all this dabbing, all this shit. But when people jump down your throats and make fun of you, when you fucking showboat like that, what the fuck do you think is going to happen when somebody finally beats you? They are going to throw that shit back in your face. You can, it's like they can dish it out. And it's a lot of black people. You can dish it out, making fun, fun of white people. Oh, they can't cook. Oh, they don't use seasoning they food. But the time they make fun of us, we squeak, pull the fucking race card out and put it on the motherfucking table like it's the mother, like we finna pay some goddamn bills. Race card. And like, I, and black people are such hypocrites, man. This shit, it... We can throw all sorts of jokes at white people. They throw one joke at us. We cry race. We go get Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, all that shit. It's, it's, it's pitiful. 
in and out. Hey, blood. Hey, I need to get off Cam, man. It was Tom Brady did what Cam did. I'll be down his fucking throat. If Aaron Rodgers, somebody, one of those quarterbacks did what Cam did, I'll be all down his fucking throat. Yeah, it, it, I still love Cam. He's still a great player, but come on, man. You got to call it like you see it. Um, And when you talk shit and you do all this, yeah, we, yeah, damn. Damn, they thought they had the shit won already before the game started. Damn, damn, you got their ass whooped. People like that. You people are gonna look at all that dabbing. People who don't like that dabbing shit, when y'all get y'all ass rotted by the motherfucking Broncos the way y'all did, y'all didn't just get beat. The Panthers didn't just get beat. They got fucking dominated. Cam Newton looked like a fucking. I remember they said. At Auburn, he ran an offense fit for a ninth grader. Cam looked at like a fucking ninth grader throwing the football against that goddamn defense. They whooped his ass. They kicked his, they beat the shit. Like, they were hitting his ass hard. Wow. He was throwing the ball all over their head. He looked scared before the game even started. He was clapping that little shit. He was shaking. This shit was a bad look. All these Cam Newton people who love him, and I love Cam, we all looked at fucking bad. People who was saying Cam the best, he going to take over from Tom Brady as the best quarterback in the league. Oh, my God. And he fucking laid a big-ass, fat-ass goose egg. This is the worst choke job by a superstar in a finals, in a championship game since LeBron in 2011. This is worse than LeBron in 2011. Cam fucking choked. He fucking choked. <laughs> he needed fucking oxygen, man. He fucking choked, choked, choked it up. No, I, I'm black, and I love Cam, and I'm a big fan of Cam. I'm an Auburn Tigers fan. He brought us the national championship. I'll always be, I always be uh, thankful for what he did that for us, but he fucking choked. Cam choked. He fucking choked. His dad was on his first take all over ESPN talking shit. Oh, this the Broncos, this ain't that year this year. And you got y'all ass whooped. They got their ass stumped. And all these white people that don't like, all these people that don't like Cam Newton got the right to talk because he looked horrible. And all, 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 we, we were just, it was me too. We were saying, oh, Cam's the shit. Can't watch Cam. You. He got fucking dominated. And this shit wasn't even close as the score was. He couldn't do shit. Man, um, I mean, that's, that's pretty much all, man. I just had to get that ran out, man, because. Y'all need to chill with this shit. The dude played bad. People are going to make fun of him. People are going to critique him. Y'all was in people's face. Yeah, hey, dab on him. Now white people going to say, dab on him. Throw their little weak ass dab. Dab. They going to do that shit because y'all was all in their fucking face with that shit. People who was wanting, they was ready for Cam Newton to fuck up so they can tear him down. And he fucked up more than one way. He fucked up. He did the... He did almost the worst thing he could do on the field and off the field. He acted like a little baby, little bitch. He went back to the how he used to act. You put the towel over his head. Tyler, what his name? Uh, Keith Talib even made fun of him and said he going to put the towel over his head in the locker room crying. And he probably was. And, and Man, that's all I got to say, man. I'm going to stop talking because I can go all day on this shit. Y'all need to just take the L. Black people, Cam Newton lovers. We just got to take the fucking L. Now, I'm a Falcons fan. I didn't want the motherfuckers to really win anyway. I didn't want to be the motherfucking Philadelphia Eagles of the NLC South. But that's another story. Falcons taking the NLC South next year. Fuck the Panthers. Yay! Rise up! Yeah!